Hello everyone. In this lab tube, I will do an example re related to collinear vectors. The example asks to find values of k such that the given pairs of vectors are collinear. I have two pairs, one in R2, one in R3, and we can have similar questions in Rm in general. Uh, Let's see first what does uh, collinear mean. So two vectors u and v are called collinear if there is a c, there's a number c such that if you scalar multiply the one of the vectors u by c, you get the other vector for some constant c. Okay, so let's uh, try to apply that theory here. So I'm supposed to find values for k such that this vector is collinear to this vector. So these two vectors are collinear. So basically I'm looking for some number c such that this happens. If I multiply c to the ve first vector, I get the second vector. Well, I know what is uh, scalar multiplication. c times a vector means that I have c times 1, which is c, c times k. And it is supposed to be equal to this. But two vectors are equal. That means that corresponding uh, components are equal. So therefore, I will get two equations. One for the first component, c should be negative 3. And one for the second component, which is c, k should be 6. This is a very good situation because th there is an equation only for c. and when you look at that, it gives you the value of c. c is negative 3. Then plug in that c equal to negative 3 to the second uh, equation. So you get negative 3 times k is equal to 6. And then solve this equation for k. So k is 6 over negative 3, which is negative 2. Again, I uh, First, find C, then using C, I found K. Okay, let's apply the same theory here. So I'm looking for, for C such that if I multiply C to the first component, let me multiply it. C times 2, 2C. Two negative 4 times C is negative 4C. And c times k is ck, it should be equal to the second vector. Then I have two vector vectors equal to each other, then mean, it means that their corresponding component should be equal. So the first component of the first one should be equal to the first component of the second one, second component of first one should be equal to the second component of the second one, and same with the third component. Here, the situa situation is a bit uh, different. Instead of having one equation for C, C, I have more than one equation for C, only for C. Yes, so I have to solve these two equations. The first one gives me negative 1 over 2, and the second one gives me 2 over negative 4, which is negative half. And to get collinear vectors, you have to get exactly the same numbers. So this c should be equal to the other one. If it is not, then there's something wrong with the question. So you have c equals to negative uh, 1 over 2. Then 
plug in that C in the equation with K. So I have negative 1 over 2 times K should be equal to negative 4. Now I have an equation only for K, and I solve it for K by multiplying both sides by negative 4, negative 2, which gives me negative 2 times negative 4 is 8. Very quick wrap up in questions uh, like this, you have to find first a number such that if you multiply to the first one, you get the second one. And then you form these equations. This one of the equations will be only for C, solve it for C, and then plug it uh, into the equation with, with C and K together. And you'll get an equation for K, solve it for K. That's the value of K, which will make two vectors. Cool linear.